you know, the, the instructor role is basically that of a parent. Yeah. You know, you're, a parent should equip the child the way an instructor should equip the student. But when the instructor doesn't embrace the role of the parent, you end up with bad children. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the way to put it. Thanks. <laughs> That's a good you analogy. Know? Yeah. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. All right. So All I'm, right. I'm so trying, let's, trying to let's, fix that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're going to start a new company called One Step Parenting. <laughs> Falls under the 1SP umbrella. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So let's, let's, um, let's press on your feet. So now at a thousand feet is where we initiate the thrust reduction. Mm hmm. So the thrust reduction is this button right here, N1. And when I push N1, it says N1. And what you'll notice is that the, the thrust levers will reduce thrust to climb thrust. And then I'm gonna take this, this speed and I'm gonna bug up, meaning I'm gonna roll it to where it says up on the speed tape, which is the appropriate maneuvering speed for flaps up. Now that speed usually is 210 on a more loaded airplane than what we see here. So let's say I just roll this up to 210 and what you'll see is if you watch the, the flight director bar, see the flight director bar here, it, it's going down. Yeah. Right? So the reason it's going down is because it wants me to pitch down because when I pitch down, the airspeed will increase so I can retract the flaps. Yes. Now we've done two things right now at a thousand feet. We pushed N1, which really means we reduce thrust and we set 210 or up speed which really means we've begun accelerating. Mm -hmm. Now VNAV does both of these simultaneously. I see. It'll reduce your thrust and it will bug up so that you do nothing other than follow the flight director and you don't have to worry about this. Now, the other thing is and I said this earlier, if an engine were to have failed right now, we would not have selected N1. So we would not have reduced thrust. We would have kept the takeoff thrust. VNAV would recognize this and it would or would not reduce the thrust as appropriate for the scenario, which is another reason to use VNAV because it takes away more of your thinking saturation and thought process right so you know the answer as to why to use vnav on the takeoff is a workload reduction but ultimately when you see the thrust moving and the flight director pitching to have an understanding of what it's doing it's reducing thrust and it's commanding you to accelerate that's what it's doing i get it okay that's already uh yeah cleared up a lot of confusion for me so because we altitude. So the question now becomes what happens to the mode here if I change the altitude that it's acquiring while it's acquiring it? And it will default into vertical speed. Okay. So I'm going to share that with you here. So if I go to 6,000, now you see it switched. I see. And the vertical speed that it's going to hold is the vertical speed that I have at the moment that I roll the altitude in the MCP. Mm. So, so I just changed it to 6,000. My vertical speed is 1,900 feet a minute. So look what it set here. I see. 1,900 yeah. feet a minute. Make sense? Yeah. And then it's going to keep this vertical speed unless I change the wheel here. I could always alter it. I could reduce it if I wanted. But it's going to hold this vertical speed until it has to reacquire again 6,000. So in a moment, I'm going to see alt acquire again because now it's going to, there it is again. Now it's recapturing six. 
right? Now, the auto throttle is still an MCP speed. Remember, MCP speed in the auto throttle column means the thrust can vary. So if I change this altitude again, it's going to go back to vertical speed. There's back to vertical speed. And in vertical speed, remember, the vertical speed must be kept constant, at, in this case, at 1,400 feet a minute. So to keep a constant vertical speed, the thrust must be allowed to vary, which is why it stayed in MCP speed. Yes. Nice. So now let's say they tell us to stop the climb. So I just go here to out hold. As soon as I push out hold, it goes back to the altitude I was at when I pushed it. It was pretty close to spot on six. And then now it's just going to hold that last altitude where I pushed it. And the thrust will continue to be variable here to maintain, in this case, 210. Yep. Okay. Cool. Cool. Is that it will initiate the level off when it is determined that it is the appropriate time to start a 1G path to level off. Okay. And that mode that you will see in the FMA is altitude acquire. I see, right. Okay, so the so the FMA is going to say ALT ACQ alt acquire. Uh in the Airbus, we say Outstar. In whatever other airplane, they probably say Out Capture. Yeah. It doesn't matter what it says. It's all mm -hmm. the same thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's basically the airplane leveling off. Now, here's, I'm going to take, have you ever? It's so much clearer. I'm really grateful you. Good. You've helped me really a lot, actually. Uh, also, just to get the confidence up, as you said. So, yeah, it was, it was really good. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. Um, I'm, ha I'm Most importantly, too, I'm happy that you took this step to actually, you know, to better yeah. yourself and get some confidence on this stuff, you know. Because mo most times, I, I just... <sighs> You know, it's 2025. I've been I've been doing type rating instruction since 2013. So for the last 12 years, I've been doing 7.3 and 3.20 types, right? So a lot of times what I find is that, um, again, I said it earlier, people, they, they say to themselves they want to do better, but they, they can't seem to admit uh, that they just need to take the needed actions in terms of monetary investment, a time investment, and it's a blow to the ego to say, you know what, I need extra help to actually get this, you know, but ultimately it leads to you being not just more competent, but confident and you're more sure of yourself so that you don't find yourself up there fumbling through what's, what am I supposed to do?